Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is another amazing collab with my beautiful friend, soul sister Marina and I'm so excited for this. Marina's channel will be linked in the description box below. If you don't know who she is, please, please, please just go check her out because you will love her. She is talented, she is beautiful, she has a wicked personality and sense of humour. I just love her so so much and we thought we'd do a nice halloween collab together so i had a look through what palettes we had in common and this one came up the martin cosmetics 669 now i don't think either of us have used this in a while so i'm super excited um i, I love the packaging of this it is just gorgeous and it's like that velvet feel i do keep it in its box just because i know that this material attracts fluff dirt everything so yes it stays in its box and then let me open this up this is the color story it is deep dark mysterious gorgeous yes so this is what we are going to be using I think I'm going to start with, what am I going to start with? I'm going to start with Hildegard, this shade here. And I'm going to place that in my crease. Let me just tap my eye primer down. I did prime my eyes with the P. Louise base in Aruma 02. I know this is a palette that both myself and Marina love, so it's going to be super exciting to see how similar our looks turn out because we have done very similar looks previously. So it's going to be an interesting one. I do love the formula of these. I can't believe I've left it so long without, well, I say I can't believe it, I can. I've got so many eyeshadow palettes. I know I've got more than one person needs, but I am a collector. Um, I'm also um, now pretty much stuck at home all the time. So it's something, it's just a nice little hobby for me. And I really enjoy it. So, yeah. We all have our our weaknesses and mine is eyeshadow palettes or just makeup in general but particularly eyeshadow palettes I do love this formula it just blends so effortlessly I'm trying to keep it deeper like right in the crease and then blend up and out beautiful but yes this is a very deep dark um palette i think the lightest shade is probably this one and the the green the lighter of the greens called rebecca so this is a true deep dark gothy vampy dark and mysterious looks palette um which i adore Um, look how easily this blends itself out and how well it builds up it just builds up effortlessly so I am bringing the depth right in because we are going really dark and mysterious today it's Halloween guys in only a matter of days and I'm super excited as you're watching this, it's only going to be a couple of days until my birthday when I turn 42. I try not to say that too loud in case it, you know, I, I don't want to make that my reality. <laughs> but yeah, sadly it, it is. Um, so yeah, both myself and Marina are representing the bold and colourful makeup lovers of the over 40s and I love that 
I believe everyone should be able to express themselves how they feel comfortable and in a way that makes them happy, obviously, as long as it's not hurting anyone. Um, but I can't see how a makeup look is going to hurt anyone. Okay. That is looking super, like, spooky. And I'm going to go in with... Oh, we're not going to hold that out. I'm going to go in with Annabelle next. I don't know why I tapped it the way I just did, but... Um, I'm going to take that just in the very outer V area and kind of blend it into the look. It was a really good black, this. And you love me a good black when they're pigmented but still blendable. Look at that. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Just placing, placing it kind of in the outer and then blending from there. I can't wait to see Marina's look. I know it's going to be amazing. And she just does such beautiful looks. And we have a very similar taste in like colours to put together. So it's going to be really interesting to see how similar our looks turn out. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I'm really feeling my vampy self right now. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with the brush I used for that first shade and just really smoke them together. Smoke them together, blend them together so they go nice and smoky. Bring that right out. I think I'm actually going to go into Lavina a little bit. And take that just into the kind of first part of the crease, the inner part of the crease, and smoke that out. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Like I said, I am super excited to see Marina's look. Marina also, she does... Um, like subscriber request videos as well so if there's uh something in her collection that you'd like to see a look done with i quite often see her posting up those videos subscriber requests which i think is amazing i don't do that these days just because with my health how it is sometimes it can be a week or more where i can't film anything so i don't want to kind of make promises that I can't keep and then just back in with the brush that I used for the black just to make sure I haven't taken away this depth out here I'm really loving that teal colour in this gorgeous Okay, so now going into the shimmers, I'm going to start by going into Cornelia, this one here. And again, I haven't got a spray down here, so it's just going on. No glitter primer, I haven't sprayed the brush. Oh, this is beautiful. I do love, like, a like a gum metal, like a deep gum metal. It is pretty. Check me out trying to describe colours. <laughs> Who am I? Oh, this is. This is a, the one downside to having a large collection that palettes kind of get lost in the collection and you kind of forget how much you enjoy them. I really think I need to start doing more playing with older palettes in my collection. I just need to work out how to fit that in because at the moment I've got a lot of new stuff in. 
which obviously I want to get videos up while it's still new. Yeah, I definitely need to get more use out of in the palettes that I already have. That looks beautiful. Okay, so for the inner part of my lid, I'm going to go into Medusa. This one here, really nice shifty shade. This shade's beautiful. I do love me a shifty shade, which we all know. It's crazy because I don't often use deeper shimmers towards the in, inner part of my eye. Not this deep anyway. But I do like it. I don't know why I don't do it more often. I just kind of get pulled into that. No, Steph, you need to brighten the inner part of your eye or the inner part of your lid. But no, you don't because it can be just as effective. Deep and dark. Would this be classed as like a smoky look? Because I don't class myself as very good at smoky looks. I don't think I'm very good at them at all. Um, would this class as a smoky look? If it does, then... I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. I'm loving how that's looking. I'm getting real deep, dark, sea witchy vibes and I'm living for it. So I'm going to head off and finish my face. I will come back and show you the finished look and have a chat. We'll wrap up. So if you'd like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys. So I'm back with the finished look. I'll just come closer so you can see. I am really happy with how this came out. I so love playing with this again. Um, before we chat anymore, <laughs> I'm just going to let you know what just a few of the bits I popped on my face whilst off camera. So I went back into the 669 palette. It would help if I took the plastic sheet off of there. Um, so for my lower lash line, on the outer part, I went into Mercredi. And then I blended that out with Rebecca, this one here. Um, and then on the inner part of my lower lash line, I went into Freya, this one here. Um, yep, that's it from the palette. <laughs> Crikey. Brain's not working today. Um, so for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I went into my unearthly cosmetics low light palette and used the shade synth wave apologies for how dirty it is it gets used a lot um but yeah i used synth wave um i also used that as my face highlighter um the blush is from likely makeup from the fairy blush palette i love this and i used the shade sunstone and i just i think it went beautifully um my, for my winged liner i actually have two on where did i put that so i used the bobaini liquid pen liner um that i picked up from timu to do like the the outer wing bit but then for the rest um across my lid i used the us two cosmetics catitude two in one liner and lash adhesive in black i love this um, the lashes are also from Artitude Cosmetics, um, but they don't have a name on the box. I did receive these in PR. I love them. Um, in my waterline, I use the She Glam Chromazone um, Multi Chrome Gel Liner in the shade Subliminal. Um, I'm not sure if this one's still available. They, I've got all three that they had, but I don't believe they do all of the shades anymore. Um, but yeah, if they do have this, I highly recommend these. They're so good. And they last so well too. Um, and then for liquid lipstick, I used the Defiance Beauty by Nechami. Um, liquid lipstick in the shade Iconic. And this was a gift from my beautiful friend Darcy. And I think 
it looks beautiful and then finally the earrings i have in um were a free gift with purchase from ladybug glow when i picked up the castle of horror palette um i love these and i found out she made them herself so they're even more special um but yes i do have some discount codes i have one with ladybug glow one with artitude cosmetics all of my discount codes you'll find at the bottom of my description box for if you are looking for a discount code for any of those brands um so this has been so much fun to play with this again i'm so glad that marina and i chose this palette because yeah it's been too long it's been too long since i played with that um so yeah i'm hoping to use my palettes that have been around for a while more um let me know if there is anything within my collection that you would like to see looks with i can't make any promises that it will happen soon um so i i never know my some Sometimes I can film a few things in a week and sometimes it can be a week or two that I can't film anything because my body just doesn't allow. So if you do request, then I apologise if I don't get round to it for a bit. But it's just the way it is. Sadly, I've had to get used to it. So, yeah. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out Marina's channel, please head over. She is amazing. You're going to love her. She is super talented, she's beautiful, she's funny. So yeah, if you haven't been over there yet, please go over, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff because she totally deserves it. She's just amazing, I love her. Um, and Marina, thank you so much for collabing with me again. I love collabing with you, it was so much fun. So yeah what is there left to say if you're new if you've come here from marina's channel or you've just found my channel hi i'm steph i love indie makeup i love bold and colorful looks i just love playing with makeup so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you've enjoyed today's video then please do consider subscribing so that we can hang out some more i would absolutely love that and yeah let me know what you think guys in the description box if not in the description box below let me know in the comment section below i don't know what's going on going on in my head but apparently my words are failing me so i think it's time to go thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon bye yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it Looking like the world is your runway She can set it off like a gunplay Oh my, yeah Talk of the city with the body Always getting praised like it's Sunday She said, baby, what you gonna do by?